Look at what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome into another video about the Book of Spells, and boy do we need to talk about this dude again. If you read the title of this video, don't worry, there is indeed evidence. After contemplating all the way back from Bon Bon the Birthday Clown, whether or not this guy is psychic or not, we finally have official proof of Glossark being indefinitely capable of somehow seeing the future. Towards the end of Crescenta's chapter, who I feel is basically Star's twin but shorter, you will eventually find yourself with this. A full two pages of Glossaric's room. So, what exactly is so special about this, you may be asking? If you were to glance at the far top left of this picture, you can clearly see an area specifically for Glossaric to draw. There is a drawing of Comet, also known as Moon Butterfly's mother, and a scratched out drawing of Star Butterfly on his desk. And if that's not enough evidence for you, then here you go. There is a CRT panel television with a game console that looks like a Super Nintendo console. Now, the console and the TV part could just be a running gag, so anything's possible, but a drawing of Star and her grandmother? And it's not even just the fact that he can see in the future somehow. It's the fact that Crescenta probably is well over a century years old considering that she has four princesses in the past. And I believe that if he was able to see the future from this far back, I bet that he knew that the only way to get Eclipsa back was through Ludo. And if he hadn't have coincidentally flipped all those pages to Eclipsa's chapter in front of Moon, Eclipsa never would have made the deal with her. He knew that Toffee would eventually take control which would make up for his death and therefore breaking the contract between two princesses, setting Eclipsa free from her crystallized state and eventually getting the humans to make peace with monsters. And I'm certain that Glossaric's not on board with the discrimination, just look at how happy he was to have Eclipsa back. Plus he even mentions in a page that Eclipsa's mother Celeria scares him. But one thing that I realized for sure is that if he knew all of these events would transpire, why didn't he inform both Moon and Eclipsa about the potential deaths of their mothers? That's, uh, th that's pretty jacked up when you think about it too hard. I honestly had found this while doing the script for another analysis video, but with all that being said, give a like on this video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, however, just comment exactly why you didn't like it, because seriously, I don't know half the time. And anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. And also subscribe if you haven't, so, uh, yeah, just, uh, hit that, hit that subscribe button. Peace.